Also developing now in Virginia, thousands of Arlington County public school employees and their family members will be forced to switch health care providers, which has led to mixed reactions. Yeah, and some teachers say that the switch puts them in an impossible situation and they must find new providers with very little time. DC News Now's Haley Mylon covers Northern Virginia and she spoke to one of those teachers and school officials. Joshua Fold is a 16 year veteran of APS and during that time he and his wife have built their health care teams within the Kaiser Permanente Healthcare Network. Now they have just a couple months to start from scratch, but for some of his colleagues it's even more dire such as for his friend with a cancer diagnosis. That teacher told me the story of a cancer diagnosis. He's in remission now, but the last test didn't come out so good. Fold says that teacher will lose access to his entire health care team come December 31st, as will about 4,800 other people on the Kaiser health care plan, which covers more than half of APS employees. I don't think there is a human who could blame that teacher for wanting to leave a school system to keep their health care. Many are in similar binds, having spent decades building their health care teams within Kaiser. Now they must switch to a CareFirst Blue Cross Blue Shield plan offering no overlap in providers. Losing existing prescriptions, treatment plans, specialist appointments, the list goes on. This is a pretty colossal screw up. Arlington Education Association President June Prakash says that APS failed several times in the health care procurement process, that the division first bungled the proposal process, leaving Kaiser out of the bidding altogether, then sitting on the news until after the school year began, leaving no time for teachers to leave for another school district. One school board member called for an audit into the process. That is one step in the right direction. Fold says there's no fixing this as he spends his entire day off researching new providers. The people at the very top of the school system, the one who's in, they're in charge of the well-being of thousands of employees, and they couldn't understand the impact of this. That's why people are angry. Reporting from our Northern Virginia Bureau, I'm Haley Mylon, DC News Now.